Jaya Shivara Jaya here from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is um, why being a minimalist might be the right step for you. Simplify everything. Ah, uh, yeah. Are you a minimalist? Are you somebody who travels a lot, moves a lot, and uh, you manage to reduce what you own to the absolute minimum? Does it fit in a backpack or in a couple of suitcases? Or do you have this storage place with tons of accumulated memories and furniture and stuff that you never use? Um, what does your flat, your apartment, your house look like? Is it cluttered? Is it free space? Is it clear? Is it refreshing? When somebody comes in there, they feel like an expansion in their heart, in their being? Or do they feel like it's just an overwhelming uh, invasion of staff. So what's very important to understand it is that um, very often we own staff that we don't need and every object has a story or a memory or something that creates an energetic or emotional connection with that object. It means that everything that you own, everything that is in your field, that is your property, it becomes part of your energetic system. If you want to verify that, simply um, you know, imagine what happens when somebody takes something that you own and breaks it or throws it away or, or burns it. You know, there is like an emotional connection or an emotional reaction that is going to happen in your field because precisely you are emotionally connected or linked. It's your property. It's your field. So all these things that you own create a network of energy or a network of emotional roots that, you know, limit your freedom. What happens when you minimalize everything, when you, when you can reduce what you own to a small backpack or a small suitcase, you know, and this is all you have and you are able to function, and you are able to work, this gives you a tremendous amount of mobility and changes your system and your field from being a little bit like a tree locked somewhere with deep roots to being like a bird who can go and fly around. So there is no right or wrong, okay? What I'm giving you here is the possibility to explore the fact that if you are you know, if you are in a space where you have the feeling that you are looking for um, uh, uh, something new, a new step in your life, my guess is that uh, being an, a minimalist and owning a minimum, minimal amount of staff is, might be the way to go. And I can tell you that in my experience, uh, in my own experience, I did that like 20 years ago, I got rid probably of 90% of what I owned books and music and you know notes and memories and pictures and I just got rid of all my furniture absolutely everything was gone you know all I had was such a you know just a little small mat to sleep on the ground but that was it you know and um, in the process of doing that what happened is that suddenly I felt like my roots were being lifted and suddenly instead of being uh, a citizen of a certain country, I became a global citizen. It became something natural to, to just look at, at, at the totality of the planet as my home. And so what I want you to explore is just, you know, simple ways of doing that and look into your personal field, into your personal environment and realize that there are probably, you know, 90% of what you have there in that space, whether it's furniture or memories or all that stuff is, is, are things that you don't really need. And uh, the moment you start realizing that and getting rid of that stuff, then uh, it radically changes um, your, uh, the way you position yourself in life. What you have to understand also is that possessions, you know, possessions can really drain you. When you go to a shop on Saturday afternoon and you, you buy a new pair of, of trousers or, you know, anything, a new piece of furniture for the house and you bring that back home, what do you think it's doing to your system? It's like there was money and then it's transformed into this thing that becomes a static piece of, of element of something solid in your field that you can no longer easily move around and it's, it's tacked in a certain form or a certain shape. And so the more you accumulate, the more, you know, you might limit your freedom. I can give you another example. For instance, if you go trekking, right, and you take, you know, I see sometimes when I go to the Himalayas, I see these tribes of uh, Indian trekkers going around with like 30 kilos on their backpack and they walk for like, 
you know, half an hour and they are completely exhausted and they never manage to go too far because they, they, they track with way, way too much gear. It's way, way too heavy. So when I pass them and I've got like my small backpack, like five to 10 kilos, basic needs plus food for like 10 days survival, I have this autonomy. I can go into the mountains for like 10 days, track, um, you know, 80 kilometers in a day. And the reason why I can do that is because I don't have too much weight. And so this is a symbol for what's happening in life. Uh, the fact that you can move fast is related with the fact that you don't have too much stuff to take with you. Um, you know, right now we are here in Bali and the volcano just erupted <laughs> over the weekend. If you didn't hear about it, well, this is what is going on and it's pretty, um, you know, it's pretty impressive. But that means that sometimes because of the survival need, you know, you might have to get out really, really fast. And so what do you need for surviving? What do you need to take with you? And if what you can, what you need for survival is just, you know, limited within a small backpack, then it gives you a tremendous sense of freedom and ease and clarity. And so, yeah, just consider it. It's a lifestyle, okay? I come from a tradition which is, when I went back to India, to the Himalayas, I realized, my God, I'm a sadhu, I'm, I'm doing this, this within a, a modern lifestyle but basically everything in me is aspiring towards nomadic lifestyle and moving a lot right now I'm, i have been here in bali for an extended period of time which has been kind of an unusual aspect of my life but basically the 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 the, the move and the ease in this move and and the ability to survive in any kind of environment this has been in my field a lot so if you look around in in this house what i need to take with me uh, if I have to leave, take off, well, fits into two bags after, you know, a few years of being here and uh, half, half of that, what I own, is uh, staff gear that I need if I go into high mountain environment or natural environment. So it's survival gear that basically will help me su survive. But basically, you know, I don't have books, I don't have furniture, I don't have memories, I don't have anything that is solid, you know, everything that I need is you know, to be able to function is in this tablet. I have a laptop still and I have the camera on which I'm recording right now. But basically all that is, you know, a really small volume of things. And so that gives me speed, it gives me freshness, it gives me actualization as well because when you accumulate um, you know, memories, what happens is that your life becomes a little bit like a museum. Uh, if you have pictures and books and things from your, your childhood and things from uh, you know, from 20 years ago, from past relationships and so on, what happens is that your life tends to be uh, anchored very much into the past. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. It's part of your culture. If you want to keep that into your field, that's fine. But that creates uh, an anchoring process in your mind where all the neural pathways and everything that is happening in your field is going to is going to tend to be a little bit more anchored into your past rather than into your future as an open potential. So when you get rid of that stuff, guess what happens? There is, there is just free energy, free energy that you can invest into your future and invest into, into new things. So it's important to understand that when you get rid of stuff, there is a sense of speed, there is a sense of freshness, there is a, a sense of freedom, a sense of actualization because suddenly you are much more in the present moment rather than being stacked in memories and stacked into uh, into the past and um, what it does as well is that it simplifies absolutely everything so this decluttering process you know you can apply it to different aspects of your of your life sometimes it's just the physical object sometimes it's happening within your virtual reality you know you have files and files and hard disks of of memories and stuff that you that you never need and you just keep them accumulating so sometimes this cluttering is happening on the virtual level as well you know in the form of pictures and memories messages you know you might have thousands and thousands of emails from the past and this stays in your field the reason why it stays in your field is because there is a sense of energetic attachment to this stuff um, yeah here we go so if you feel that um, you know 
um, being a minimalist and, and going a little bit in that direction is something that you want to explore. You know, it's something that I can help you with, decluttering your life, uh, identifying the places where, where you're held back. Uh, you can reach me at vitalcoaching.com or directly on this, you know, on the profiles here on Facebook, uh, Shiva Rajaya, and uh, we can set up a Skype session. It's very easy to, you know, to set it up and to get on a, on a call together. And if you want uh, a simple advice to, to, to get moving in that direction, is start identifying into your field the things that um, that no longer serve you and uh, you know start tearing apart a couple of pictures and just creating space and uh, something else as well that you can do is like imagine that you have to quickly rush out of your house that there is a flood there is a hurricane or something that there is an actual disaster that is going to wipe out your house what do you need to survive another experiment that is really powerful is go and live in nature like for for, for a month take off take a small backpack and learn how to survive in nature and you will realize that everything that you think you need to feel safe to feel secure in your life is just a big illusion because you don't need it, you don't need that stuff. Most of it you don't need. Most of it is just stuff that is over there, in around in your house, but that you don't really need to to create security in your existence, right? It's powerful, you know. What I'm saying here seems to be like a, a detail in life, but it can radically change, um, you know, the, the your ability to move and uh, and create freedom in your existence. And it's a massive. Um, it it can create a massive change. Sometimes I arrive in somebody's kitchen. Yeah, something else that you can simplify is really your diet or how you eat, what you need to to prepare food. You know, it's like simplify, 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 and everything. Every ever eventually, you notice that you arrive in a place which is just so refreshing, with so much place, so much expansiveness, and that feels uh, that feels really good. Yeah, sometimes I arrive in a kitchen and just trying to find ingredients in this completely cluttered kitchen is is like it's almost like impossible to prepare a dish because the 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 counter is already filled with stuff and so yeah just go into this minimalist state and just create space in your life and you will see that what what comes out of it is going to be magnificent that's my guess okay i love you I'll see you soon